Today, we're gonna put sand bedding to the test. Studies show that cows can produce up to 10% more milk when they have access to comfortable bedding. Is sand bedding the answer? Does it truly provide long-term cost savings and increased income for dairy farms? Many of you have asked about sand bedding and why we use it. We're coming up on three years dairy farming in this barn with sand bedding, so we feel we do finally have the words to discuss it with you and share our findings. Let's go find Eddie to see what he has to say about whether or not sand bedding truly can boost milk production on dairy farms, therefore increasing income. This video is sponsored by Major Dairy AI Services Limited. So I'll start by going over the costs of the sand bedding for our farm. We figure we spend an extra $3,500 to remove the manure. This is to load the sand with a high hoe. And whether you did it with a high hoe or a pit crawler, it's gonna be extra cost to move that sand. And then we figure another $1,000 per year for maintenance on our scrapers and robots because the sand's harder on that stuff. We figure we use another 3,000 a year on bedding our cows with sand rather than if we would have used straw. So that's a total of $6,500 a year. And for about 65 cows in the barn, that's $100 per cow per year. We broke it right down to the cents per day. We're at 27 cents per day per cow that we have to squeeze out of these cows to get back from using sand bedding. So I'm gonna go over some of the negatives of sand bedding. One of them is how heavy it is to work with. Nobody likes breaking sand stalls and the better job you do with the sand stalls, the more you're not gonna like it. You do it for the cows, but as for the farmer, it's not easy to work with. Cows can dig in the sand. If you've got somebody with a sore foot or you have a new heifer in the barn that's not used to sand, they can dig at that sand and waste it. Generally, they get used to it and they stop doing that, but it can be a negative to deep bedded sand. Obviously sand is very abrasive, so it's harder on everything that it touches. So it's harder on the manure scrapers, it's harder on the robots, it's harder on everything. So there's extra cost to maintaining equipment. So these are all the benefits of sand bedding. These are the dollars that we've written out. This is how you get your 27 cents back per cow per day. We believe we can turn that 27 cents not into just 27 cents at a break even. We actually think we can get to more like 70 cents or a dollar per cow per day. And this is how guys that use sand really believe in what they're doing, that they're getting more back than what they're putting into it. So with sand bedding, because it's deep bedded and we have no concrete underneath, it's a great bedding source for cows to lay in. Cows are big bodied animals, they're 1,500 to 2,000 pounds, and that sand forms to every curve of their body. We find the sand is great for cow comfort. When you have better cow comfort for the cows, you can have help happier cows, healthier cows. Milk production can be better with cows that are more comfortable. And lower SCC in your herd, that's a measure in the milk that the processors check on every bulk tank, and the lower your SCC is in the milk, likely the higher your production will be. And when cows lay on sand stalls that are managed well, the SCC tends to be lower in those herds. So if we're talking mastitis, you're lowering the amount of cases, you can be 250 to $500 for every case of mastitis you're treating in your herd. We've only treated two cows for mastitis since we've been in this barn. One was E. coli, and that's a type of mastitis that you have to treat very quickly or it can kill the cow. We managed to save the cow. The other cow was just regular mastitis in her quarter. I don't know what type of mastitis it was, but we only ever had one of those in the two and a half years we've been here. So essentially you eliminate mastitis when you use sand and break your stalls well. Less lameness 
it's obvious in sand barns, you, you can talk to a lot of different farmers that maybe went from one bedding type to sand and they see lameness really drop. So that is a big benefit. The more comfortable the cows are, the longer they're gonna last in the barn and the more they're gonna milk, the more they're gonna get up to eat because they're not sore when they get up. They're happy to get up and happy to go lay back down. You have less bacteria grow in the sand stalls. This is because sand is not organic matter. With organic matter, bacteria really builds up, but that does mean you do have to do a good job of raking your stalls because you can get organic buildup from the manure in the sand stalls. If you don't do a good job getting that out and spreading new sand around, fresh sand around, you do not need storage for this bedding. If you're using sawdust, if you're using straw, you need storage for your bedding. We can store it outside all year round. We're in a very cold climate. We're in a very warm climate in the summer and everything in between in the fall and the spring. And it doesn't matter if it gets rained on, so we can get away with leaving it outside. You don't have to haul it in off the field like straw. When I need a load, I call my neighbor. He comes in with a dump truck, he dumps it. It's as simple as that. Lower building costs. When we built this barn, we figured it would have cost another $50,000 to pour concrete in the stalls and put, put mats in, 40,000 for the concrete and the mats and 10,000 on interest when you're borrowing money for your barn. So those are real numbers, 50,000 basically pays for that $6,500 a year that we're spending extra on sand will cover the first eight years. So <laughs> that that's quite a while before you're actually having to even prove your costs with all these things that you wanna see after those eight years of saving on the building costs. And then another thing is the cows get just better traction in the alleyways. If you can get better traction in the alleyways, then you can likely keep more cows from doing the splits. Everybody in a freestyle knows what that's like. We've seen it in this barn, but I would believe that if you didn't have that sand traction in the alleyways, you could see a little bit more of that. And if I'm not convincing anybody of this, then I'm not sure what else to say, but what we're saying is these are the types of things that farmers look at when they want to use sand. And that is why guys decide to use sand. And that is how they figure out how to get that money back from the money spent on sand. Farmers don't do it for the fun of it. They want to get that money back two times, three times, four times. And this number of 27 cents can vary. The larger the farm is, they might get that extra cost of spending on sand down to 20 cents or 15 cents per day per head. So that's kind of the math we did on it. works for us on our farm. As I mentioned, we've been only been using this system for two and a half years, but it works for us. You can have success with other bedding types, but this is simply why we use sand in our barn. 